Begin standing, feet hips width distance apart. Come into Tadasana, allow your eyes to close, settle on your breathing. Allow your exhales to slow, same length as your inhales. And then if you'd like to set a dedication for your practice, please do so at this time. Take a deep breath in, draw in as much air as you can, exhale, release. And then resume your deep breathing once again. Take a little bend to your knees. Step your left foot all the way back to a low lunge. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Bend your left knee enough that you can bring your left knee down towards the mat. Your left toes can be tucked or untucked. Andreyanasana. Gently pull your right hip crease back, left hip crease forward. Engage your low belly. Shoulder blades release down your back as your palms face each other. And start to press your hips down and forward. You might have a deeper bend in your right knee. Keep breathing. Take out that little bend in your knee. Tuck your back, back toes to lift up your back knee. Come to a high crescent lunge. First have a little bend in your back knee. And then begin to re-straighten. Yes, stretch through your hip flexors. Then take your hands down to your low back. Interlace your fingertips. Inhale, drop your knuckles. Lift up your chest and your gaze upward. Exhale, humble lunge. So your right shoulder comes about to the top of your right knee, right thigh. Keep pulling your right hip crease back, left forward. Try to square your hips. Maybe send your gaze back towards your left toe. Channel to your balance. Then on your next inhale, come up about halfway. Keep your hands bound, bound as much as you can. Send your gaze out in front of you. And on your next exhale, step forward, warrior three. Coming onto your right leg, extend your left leg behind you. Flex your toes. Lift up to the inside of your left thigh. Drop your left hip just a little bit so your hips are aligned. Keep reaching your knuckles behind you. Low belly. Engage. Shoulders up and back away from you. And then as best you can, keeping that bind, take a little bend to your right knee, step your foot all the way back, release the bind, inhale, arms come up, high lunge. Settle in, release. On your next exhale, open up warrior two, your left foot comes down at an angle, almost parallel to the back of your mat. If you're using a yoga mat, arms are down, shoulder height. Gaze out over your right middle finger. Press down through the bottoms of your arms. Lift up to the crown of your head, sink more deeply into your hips. Right knee directly over your right ankle. Keep pressing over through your left, outside of your left foot. Right palm comes up, <laughs> exalted warrior, arc all the way back. Left hand to your left thigh or behind your back. I'm trying to take as little weight out of it. Put as little weight into it as you can. Nice, and then on your next inhale, spiral open, come to a side angle, or if you'd like, extended side angle. Reach your left arm out around over your ear, fingertips reaching towards the front, shoulder away from you. Use the resistance of your right hand or your uh, right forearm if you're placing it to the inside of your right thigh. Keep pressing through the outside of your left foot. And then on your next exhale, send your gaze down, take your hands back down towards the mat. Make sure that your right foot is to the right of your hand, low, uh, in a lizard pose. Inhale, lengthen out, reach your chest towards the front, and on your exhale, start to come down to your forearms if you can. If not, just bend your elbows a little bit or maybe find a prop to place yourself on top of. Perfect, keep pulling your right knee in towards your right shoulder in this lizard pose. And you can stay right here if you'd like to go a little bit deeper into the stretch, start to press your hands to lift up. Take your right hand to the back of your right calf Bisect it and then start to scoop your right shoulder underneath. Again, you can stay right here, or if you like, maybe move toward a bind. Take your left hand, spiral it around so it's at your low back. And if you want to take that full bind, right hand reaches around to meet it. Keep squeezing your right knee in, keep pressing through your back foot. Keep reaching your chest forward, try to space, find space through your collarbone. Very nice, and then as you're ready, start to release that bind. Walk your right hand, or your right foot to the inside of your right hand. And then step forward, forward fold. Take a little bit of a ragdoll pose, sway a little from side to side. Maybe bend in your knees. Maybe shake out your head. Then let your fingertips drift down. Inhale, come up halfway and lengthen. Exhale, fold chest to thighs. Inhale, reverse swan dive, reach your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, take your hands to your heart center. And then back to Tadasana. Arms alongside your body, palms towards the front. Regain the foundation through your feet. 
Come back to your intention, come back to your breath. One more time, deep breath in. Let go. Then start to take a little bend to your knees. Step your right foot all the way back. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Take your right knee down towards the mat. Toes tucked or untucked on Jayanasana. Again, scissor your thighs together. Pull your left heel towards your right knee. Start to press your hips down and forward. Low belly engaged. Take the arc out of your low back. Try to take it into your upper back. Very nice. And then as you're ready, tuck your right toes to lift all the way up. Come to your high lunge. Again, a little bend in your right knee. Left hip crease comes back, right is, right is pulling forward. Start to re-straighten your leg. Yes, and then take your hands to your low back. Interlace your fingertips the opposite way. Inhale, drop your knuckles, lift your heart, gaze up. Exhale, take up all that space. Hinge forward, humble lunge. Maybe send your gaze towards your back foot. Keep finding that hip alignment, left hip crease pulls back. Yeah, keep everything in line. And then lift up about halfway. Keep your hands together if you can. And then on your next exhale, you're going to launch forward, warrior three. Your right leg extends out beyond you. If your left leg doesn't come straight, that's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Just keep pressing evenly through that foot. Keep reaching your knuckles back. Keep your belly engaged. It's gonna help with your balance. And also drop your right hip just a little bit. Lift up to the inside of your thigh. Perfect. And then as you're ready, stand all the way back. Come back to your high lunge. Arms come up. And then on your exhale, open up, warrior two, second side. Sit deep into your left knee. Release your shoulders behind you. Look over your left middle finger. Flip your left palm, inhale, exalted warrior, take it back, keep your lower body just as it is. And then as you're ready, launch forward, come into your side angle or extended side angle. So your right arm can come up or sweep it around over your ear, palm down. Keep dropping your right hip so it's in line with your left. Yes, keep pressing the outer edge of your right foot. Make sure that your knee and toes are in alignment with each other, everything pointing in the same direction. Use the resistance of your left arm wherever it is. Everything active. Then send your gaze down, take your hands down towards the mat, come onto the ball of your right foot. We're moving into lizard again. Again, make sure your left foot is the outside of your left hand. Inhale, lengthen out. And then on your exhale, start to come down to your forearms. Or start to come down to a block. Breathe. Again, if you'd like to stay here, you're more than welcome to do so. If you want to go a little bit further, take your left hand to the back of your left calf. Bisect it. Start to scoop your left shoulder underneath. Stay here. Or maybe start to go for a half bind. Right hand behind your low back. Yep, keep pulling your left knee into your left shoulder. Yes. And then if you want to take that full bind, the left hand comes back as well. Reaching your chest forward, keep pressing back through your right heel. Then onto your bind. Take your hands back down. This time, place your left foot in between your hands. So you're in a regular lunge. Step forward, forward fold. Again, take ragdoll. Maybe bounce just a little bit, maybe sway a little bit, or maybe just find some stillness. If your hands are holding onto your elbows, release them down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen out, reach to the crown of your head, fingertips, find resistance in your shins or the earth. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, reverse swan dive, flat spine, root to rise. Take it out and up, palms press. Exhale, take your hands in towards your heart center. Perhaps allow your eyes to close. Namaste.